This, believe it or not, I'm doing for the environment. Because Dutch scientists have found a way to produce energy from urine. This I gotta see. And this is coming along. Mind you, this invention, energy from urine, is way beyond the lab stage. There's a real life-size test going on all the way up in northeast Groningen in a wastewater treatment facility. That's where we're going now. Right, Mr. Giesen, there we go, my uh, product. What are you going to do with it? Here at the sewage treatment plant, we treat all the water in the urine which we collect. And in a conventional process, we need energy and chemicals to do so. We now have developed a new approach, which I will show you directly, where we produce yellow power. So we recover energy and we recover phosphates. The first step is to filtrate the water. From the pollutants in the urine, we produce here a salt crystal. And here we decompose the salt crystals into fertilizer, the phosphate, and ammonia, which goes to Delft to produce power. So, back in the car. The good thing about this kind of energy is that it's available all the time, as opposed to wind or solar. And then there is a valuable rest product, phosphate or fertilizer, and the world supply of that is running low. Right, Sander, the ammoniac has come all the way from Groningen to Delft, and now what? Well, it's, uh, it's stored in the tanks outside, and then it's being sent through these pipings to the fuel cell, and then we use the P for power. It's that simple. That's all? That's all. Right, the graphic proves it. Power is indeed coming out of the fuel cell. Indeed. So, should we go collect our urine? That would be a great idea. <laughs> 